Join us as we discuss, the power of repentance. Matthew chapter 4 verse 17. From that time Jesus began to preach, and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Many people believe that they are able to repent by simply saying, I repent, or, I am sorry, to the Lord in the name of Jesus. Furthermore, they believe that they can continually and deliberately commit sin and repeatedly ask for forgiveness. These beliefs cannot be supported by the Holy Bible in the teachings of Jesus Christ. 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 3 reads, For the Lord is a God of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. Repentance is more than just saying that you are sorry for breaking the Lord's commandments. Repentance requires that a man or a woman takes action, so the questions remain. What is repentance and how do we repent? 1 John chapter 3 verse 4 reads, Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. The scripture defines sin as the breaking of the Lord's laws, statutes, and commandments written throughout the Bible. For example, adultery, homosexuality, stealing, fornication, and murder, etc., are examples of sins that the Israelites are committing. Proverbs chapter 28 verse 13 reads, He that covereth his sins shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. The scripture says that a person that does not acknowledge that he is breaking the Lord's commandments is not going to receive forgiveness for his sins, repentance. This scripture also shows that in order to repent, a person must then forsake his sins. The act of forsaking sins means that after confession, a person no longer returns to his wicked deeds. Job chapter 33 verses 27 to 28 reads, He looketh upon men, and if any say, I have sinned, and perverted that which was right, and it profited me not, he will deliver his soul from going into the pit, and his life shall see the light. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 7 reads, Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Psalms 119-9 Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way, by taking heed thereto according to thy word. Psalms 19-7 The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul, the testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. In order to truly repent, an Israelite must stop breaking the laws, statutes, and commandments and begin to follow them through Jesus Christ. Who needs repentance? Acts chapter 5 verse 31 reads, Him, Jesus Christ, hath God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior, for to give repentance to Israel, and forgiveness of sins. 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 18 For Christ also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit. The Heavenly Father sent his Son, Jesus Christ, to the Israelites to be a living example of how to keep the commandments. He taught Israel how to follow the Heavenly Father in truth, and became the ultimate and last sacrifice for sin. Thus giving Israel a way to repent from breaking the Lord's commandments. The only way to truly repent is through Jesus Christ because his death brought us back to the Father through repentance. I Timothy 1-9-10 reads, Knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man, but for the lawless and disobedient, for the ungodly and for sinners, for unholy and profane, for murderers of fathers and murderers of mothers, for manslayers, for whoremongers, for them that defile themselves with mankind, for menstealers, for liars, for perjured persons, and if there be any other thing that is contrary to sound doctrine. This scripture shows that repentance is open to all Israelites that desire to stop sinning and follow Jesus Christ. Romans chapter 3 verse 23 reads, For all have sinned, and come short of the glory of God. Every Israelite has broken the commandments of God, therefore, every Israelite needs repentance. 1 Kings chapter 8 verses 46 to 52 If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not, and thou be angry with them, and deliver them to the enemy, so that they carry them away captives unto the land of the enemy, far or near. 47. Yet if they shall bethink themselves in the land whither they were carried captives, and repent, and make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carried them captives, saying, We have sinned, and have done perversely, we have committed wickedness. 48. And so return unto thee with all their heart, and with all their soul, in the land of their enemies, which led them away captive, and pray unto thee toward their land which thou gavest unto their fathers, the city which thou hast chosen, and the house which I have built for thy name. 49. Then hear thou their prayer and their supplication and have in thy dwelling place, and maintain their cause. 50. 
and forgive thy people that have sinned against thee, and all their transgressions wherein they have transgressed against thee, and give them compassion before them who carried them captive, that they may have compassion on them sad face. 51. For they be thy people, and thine inheritance, which thou broughtest forth out of Egypt, from the midst of the furnace of iron sad face. 52. That thine eyes may be open unto the supplication of thy servant, and unto the supplication of thy people Israel, to hearken unto them in all that they call for unto thee. Acts chapter 17 verse 30, And the times of this ignorance God winked at, but now commandeth all men everywhere to repent. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, to support our channel.